In this video, I am going to discuss about rule of 17 for cranial nerve palsies. In lower motor neuron 7th nerve palsy or facial nerve palsy, the facial deviation occurs to opposite side of the lesion and in 10th nerve palsy or vagus nerve palsy, the uvular deviation occurs towards the opposite side of the lesion. So deviation to opposite side of the lesion occurs in 7th nerve palsy element type and 10th nerve palsy. So 7 plus 10 is equal to 17. Now, in case of mandibular division of trigeminal nerve palsy or fifth nerve palsy, the jaw deviation occurs to same side of the lesion because of unopposed action of contralateral pterygoid muscles. And in case of lower motor neuron type of hypoglossal palsy or twelfth nerve palsy, the tongue deviation occurs to same side of the lesion due to unopposed action of contralateral genioglossus muscle. So, deviation to same side of the lesion occurs in fifth nerve palsy and lower motor neuron type of 12th nerve palsy. So 5 plus 12 is equal to 17. This is rule of 17 for cranial nerve palsies.